So this is what I eat in a day and a lot of it depends on how many calories I'm going to be consuming during the day and for this day in particular I'm going to be burning a little bit of calories because I've already gone to the gym. I did my swim session this morning. I burned around 400 calories there and then I did a core session which I burned I think around 100 calories. I did 20 minutes on the bike and I'm going to be doing another endurance session. So it basically all depends on how many calories I'm going to burn, which then turns into how much am I going to eat that day. So this is going to be a little bit more. I'm guessing probably around 4,000 to 4,500 calories I'm going to be consuming today. So this is basically what I eat in a day. And then I'll have a few snacks throughout the day just to make sure that I get to my calorie intake that I need to get to on that day. So this is basically what I eat in a day and today's going to be a little bit heavier. So let's dive in. So this is a fairly standard breakfast that I pretty much always have. Five eggs, a bagel. I switch between blueberry bagel and raisin cinnamon bagel. And I never used to eat bagels when I was doing low carb. It would typically just only be five eggs. And then sometimes I would have an LMNT if I was going to be working out within an hour after I was going to be eating, or it would just be collagen if I wasn't going to be working out after. And right now I already had an LMNT because I did a morning workout, but right now it's just five eggs and a bagel. And like I was just saying, if I was going to be working out soon, I would have an LMNT or what I used to do is if I wasn't going to be having an LMNT, I would have collagen and then I would put it in there and then I would have that along with my breakfast. So this is my breakfast, approximately 650-ish calories. I don't calculate the butter just because it's a little bit difficult to calculate because I'm using it in the pan so the eggs don't stick to the pan. And then I'm also putting it on the, bu the bagel and I'm not sure if I'm getting all of it. So you could probably add in an extra 10 to 50 calories, I guess you could say, for butter. But just from the eggs and the bagel, that's approximately 650 calories. All right, we're moving on to lunch here. And for a lot of my lunches and dinners, I eat typically the same thing every single day. So I'll have about five or so different meats that I'll rotate between and five or so veggies that I'll rotate between and then maybe three different carbs that I'll rotate between. And that makes it really simple for me and for lunches and dinners, that's basically all I ever eat. And lunches are always leftovers, like I'm eating right now. So I have a beef patty. I'm gonna throw some cheese on it, have some asparagus. Oh crap, I gotta got get the asparagus in right now, but, and then also black beans. So that's what I'm having for lunch today. So I use my fitness pal for tracking and this is bought from the butchers. So I don't know how accurate it is, but it says it's about four to 500 calories. So I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but if it is accurate, that's probably gonna be about 450 plus the cheese, about 150. So we're at 600 plus the asparagus. We're gonna be at about 500 plus the beans plus another 50. So I think I'm at 650. So this is gonna be about 650. And I think it's a, a high, high protein, high fat, a little bit of carbs really good macronutrients here and especially micronutrients as well. Um, we're trying to hit everything here. Okay, this isn't a typical snack that I would have on a bike ride, but I'm about to go on about a two, two and a half hour bike ride. <laughs> I got a bunch of Greek yogurt in here and I put a frozen banana in there. So I'm probably just gonna snack on this during my bike ride. I just had an element T in here. So this is gonna be my snacks during it. I don't typically do this. Ever since I started doing higher carb. I haven't been eating as much as this because I'm getting a lot of other sugars in other places. So this is going to be a snack that I'm going to have during my bike ride. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I got my bike in a little bit later than I typically want during the day. I got this snack right here. I got to polish off a lot of calories within a small window. I got about 1800 calories left. That's excluding eating this too, which is a little bit of cinnamon, plain oats, a scoop of plain peanut or just peanut butter, plain peanut butter. I don't know what it is. <laughs> the only ingredients peanuts is all I know. And then some honey in here. So this is one of my favorite snacks that I have now that I have that I eat carbs again. Just the, I think the honey and the cinnamon makes it taste really good. And then I'm having salmon, beans, green beans, rice and fried shrimp for dinner. And I think that'll, hopefully get me around 800 calories. And then I got another 
quick, easy snack that I'll probably show you after dinner that I used to eat a lot when I was on low carb and I was marathon training and I needed a lot of the calories in, but I got my, my bike in a little bit later. I like to intermittent fast. So I typically close my window at six o'clock. It's currently five. So I don't know if I'm gonna get 1800 calories. This is 850, so that would be about 2600 calories in in an hour. I'll probably stretch it to maybe seven and then I'll be going to bed after that. So yeah, this is snack number maybe two or three but this is one of my favorites all right i just polished up my dinner i don't know if the chinese food was tracked properly just because it's chinese food we didn't make it and it's just whatever the app has as a selection whatever the macros are and it seemed like the rice was off a little bit but i might be wrong so i polished up that i'm pretty full right now i made my homemade trail mix and this is what I really like to make. It's got almonds, macadamia nuts, and walnuts, and it usually has pe pecans, but ran out of those. So unfortunately, I don't have any pecans in them, which leaves a couple extra 100 calories that I am missing out on. So I'm gonna eat this, and depending on how I feel, I'm either just gonna be 200 calories short, and or I'll either treat myself maybe with some ice cream, or I'll maybe try and find something to fill those 200 calories with and I'll update you with that and I'll go over a total calorie count on the day go over my macros and we'll see exactly what we look like on the day so I decided to have a little bit of self-control and I was already a little high on sugars for the day so instead I'm gonna have three preparettes finish off my calories on the day and I pretty much hit it exactly I had 4,800 calories on the day breakfast 710 calories lunch 925 calories dinner 772 calories snacks this is where majority of it comes in and it's just periodically eating throughout the day we're at 2,400 calories and that pretty much rounds it out on the day I have a 2,700 calorie basically baseline of that's basically what I got to hit if I don't exercise or anything and then anything on top of that with the exercise that's what I have to hit to maintain my basically body weight so finishing off the day the macros hit 259 grams of protein carbs 300 fiber I try to hit at least 38 I don't know what a good number is and sugars I try to stay below 100 today we hit 87 majority of it might be coming from fruits but I know I had honey honey has some sugar in it so 87 is a little bit high when I was doing low carb I was doing really good with sugars I was probably consistently averaging probably around 50 but now that I have carbs back in my diet it goes up a little bit so other than that I think it turned out pretty good and that's the overview at a glance and then macros as well like I went over so that's, I wouldn't say a typical day, but a lot of these foods are basically what I incorporate with my day to day. And I just swap it out depending on how, how many calories I burn and how many calories I need throughout the day. And this is majority of what I have. I have five or so different meats, like I said. So beef, chicken, fish, I can't think of any, uh, turkey, pork. Those are a few off the top of my head, steak. And then with veggies i have like five different ones asparagus broccoli brussels sprouts mushrooms i don't i'm pretty sure that's a vegetable and i just have a couple different vegetables that i rotate between and then carbs these are all for lunch and dinner carbs i have sweet potatoes i have wild rice i find white rice is more of just empty calories and i feel like there's one more black beans which i guess could be classified as vegetables as well and then I also have green beans for my vegetables. So this is what I eat in a day. I wouldn't say a typical day because I did burn a little bit more calories than I typically do, especially during the week. I usually only do either swimming or biking. So I'm burning a lot less calories during those days. But this is a typical day on a lot of calories that I burn. So I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe got some ideas on foods that you can eat and incorporate in your diet, or maybe it motivates you to eat a little bit healthier, or maybe you decide to use MyFitnessPal or some other tracking app out there. But thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.